Hey. Just ignore the fact that I'm gonna be wearing a hat this whole time. Um, it's not that like I'm not hiding, you know, my gross freaking hair that I haven't washed in a couple of days. It's, it has nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing something I usually don't do on this channel. Um, I've never done this on this channel. I'm doing a favorites video. This is my October favorites slash current favorites if I'm not getting within a month. Um, I'm pretty sure everything that I'm mentioning was during October and they became my favorites in October. But like, you, you, you know what I I'll be telling you guys some of my favorite things. They can be makeup. They can be things. They can be tangible objects. But you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna have a fun time telling you what I'm obsessed with. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button down below. Also, turn on post notifications that way you get notified every time I post a video. Because just just subscribe, just subscribe. I'm cool. There ado, let's just get on to the video. Okay, so my first favorite of the month, honestly, it was. It was something special. It was, okay, so for some reason, hi, hello, my name's Megan, I'm obsessed with makeup. So I'm obsessed more specifically with eyeshadow palettes. Back home, during some sort of break, or I just went home during the weekend, I went to my Ulta. I saw this at the counter and it was so glowy and it was so shimmery. If you know me, I love a shimmery shadow and a bomb highlight. So I was like, oh. You're, you're calling to me and that is the bh desert oasis eyeshadow palette this has become my everyday freaking eyeshadow palette like it like it's beautiful do you guys see all these shimmers like oh my god like they have three transition shades which is really all you freaking need and then they have so many shimmers this is more of the highlight section but again my favorite shade right here is this shade terrain 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 we don't know how to freaking pronounce like do you guys see that it's so freaking pretty like it's so reflective that i use all the time is the shade mirage it's like champagne rose gold highlight it's so blinding too like look at that look at that my finger and i just love it so like look how reflective that is it's so funny from my window i can see people walking to class and i'm just like ha i don't have class today so as if i go to class even when i do have class Sorry, mom. Love you. The second thing I am, you know, currently obsessed with is my current bracelet that I'm wearing. So this is a bracelet I got actually from Windsor. I don't think you guys can see what it says because, like, my big head's blocking it. I actually have a small head. Bracelet. It's like a little cuff bracelet. It cuffs like this. It just says blessed on it, and I thought it was the cutest freaking thing. And I've been looking for, like, a dainty bracelet that I can, like, wear every day. And this bracelet is just, like, the perfect thing. Like, I thought it was just so so freaking cute next favorite is honestly i got into candles this month so i was just like it's fall time it's going down you know like sun's going down we want to be calm midterms finals are going to be around the corner pretty soon so bath and body works was having a sale on their little candles and i was like oh why not so right here this is my favorite freaking candle in the whole freaking world let me just tell you that it's the eucalyptus mint with, made with essential oils bath and body works scented candle and oh, smells so medicinal and it smells so freaking good and i love it so freaking like like i bring this much of it i'm not really supposed to have candles in my door either it's just Another thing that I've been loving this month is I'm really into freaking podcasts. Like, so obsessed with podcasts now. Like, I don't even understand. And I think it's because my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers, Brooke Michio and Danielle Carolyn, started their own podcast, and I just instantly love it. It was called it's called Gals on the Go. You guys should definitely check it out. I probably mentioned it like a bajillion times before, but it's so freaking good, and I love it. And I just love their positive energy, like motivated. It's just like. I love that. So that's been my thing now doing like when I'm like doing um, homework and stuff like that. Like I plug earphones into my laptop and you know, I just listen to podcasts. Look pretty basic that came out with Alicia and Remy. That is, that's I, like the gods answered my prayer because I love Remy. I love Alicia so freaking much. I also love Kenzie Elizabeth's I Love You So Much podcast. That one, oh, I had a spiritual awakening in that podcast. That podcast like, the episode I've listened to like made my freaking day and it made me feel so much better about certain things that I feel about YouTube and I was just like 
And I feel like people don't understand that. Like, yeah, they expect bigger creators to feel certain ways, but like smaller creators feel like the same amount of, they put the same amount of pressure on themselves. They just don't have that big of a following if you know what I'm talking about. Like, if you're a creator, you know. My next favorite thing I've been doing this month, like really started doing this month, was making playlists on Spotify. Like, I get why YouTubers plug their Spotify's all the time now because so much fun making freaking playlists like all the time. Like, I love it. I love, my playlists are pretty funny. So recently, the playlist that I have going on right now is my 12 year old fangirl bops. Now this is old school. This is music for girls who are like me that still have an obsession with early age Cody Simpson, early age Grayson Chance, early age Justin Bieber, One Direction, Mindless Behavior, um, just like old Selena Gomez in the scene. Like it's all that type of music. Like there's already like 14 hours of music on that playlist and I just made it two days ago feel good bops i have my old little emo ass music lol that's all my emo music and then i have vibes and my vibes playlist is so freaking good like if you just want a chill night you want to discover some good music go follow my vibes playlist because it's so great you guys should definitely follow me on spotify it's just megan nicole e1 like it's pretty cool plugging in my spotify go follow me go see what i listen to and so i've been obsessed with a few songs this month i'm not gonna play them like i usually unless you guys want me to my favorite songs that i've been like Die Hard listening to this month. City with Dua Lipa and Silk City. The one that's like, -na 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 -na. Kiss and Make Up by Dua Lipa and Blackpink. Like, that's been a real good song this month. A real good song. I love Promises with Sam Smith and Calvin Harris. Air Book by Khalid. I love his EP that dropped. Like, it's pretty good. He speaks Spanish in one song, and I was just like, Khalid. And he was just like, speaking Spanish. And I was like, oh my God. Hello. Ryan Beatty's new album. Been listening to that like crazy. Like, I don't know, fall vibes. A show that I've been really loving this, you know, spoopy season, this October, is The Haunting of Hill House, The Haunted of Hill House, The Haunted, you know what I'm talking about. Basically, if you don't know what that show is, that's a creepy Netflix show that just dropped this month and everyone's like talking about it. It's so freaking good. The background story to everything, the way everything connects is so freaking good. I love it so much. Really good series and it's a really good series to binge watch. I'm also waiting to watch The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I'm like, I still haven't done that, but I'm gonna do it, so don't come at me, okay? Another thing that happened in October that I, that I really love and it's actually making me look forward into the future is is my class schedule for spring semester yeah we picked our class schedule already which i found out that i my school does ours really early because my sisters doesn't pick her class schedule until the end of november which i was like schedule so much to the point where i'm kind of excited for school again you know because we all know really hate school right now i decided to take a full load next semester which i wasn't originally planning to do whatsoever i was just doing it because I'm just gonna take six classes this semester. That way my senior year, I just have four and four for my whole entire year. And I'm not stressing out during my senior year. I'm taking Mondays, Wednesdays, 10 a.m. to 11.15. I am taking OMG 321, which is a business statistics class, which honestly, I thought I was done with math for business. I thought I was done after statistics. And then I found out I had to take accounting and I thought I was done with accounting. And then I had to take econ. And then I thought I was done with math forever like i thought i was done with any basic math now i'm in finance this year and now i have to take business stats and i'm just like freaking great for mondays and wednesdays 10 30 to 12 45 i go to smt 312 this is an upper division elective my school always makes us two mine is natural disasters i heard it's really interesting i heard it's really easy as well so i'm excited for that and then right after that i am taking labor and industrial relations it's hrm 316 and i heard the teacher's really really cool and really really passionate and then i have three online classes Classes. that's just the way I like it. I like going to school Mondays and Wednesdays only and then cutting off really early in the day so 2 15 is like perfect for me and then I'm gonna take HRM 313 human resource management online as well as management 312 organizational behavior and management 416 leadership seminar online as well so they're all super interesting to me I hope I'm not bored like I am this year another thing that i've noticed this month is i've been getting into some new youtubers am i new i don't mean new on the scene i mean like they've been pretty on the scene before but i've just been getting into them so i've been really into Haley fam lately because i don't know alexis has always told me about her and i just never watched her because i don't know i just never watched her and then i started watching her this month and i'm like 
obsessed with her like she's so fun she's one of the people I like you now like all the time I'm really into this girl um, her name's Haley Demilo Demelo Demilo I'm sorry girl if I'm pronouncing your name wrong she is a smaller creator um, and she goes to she's like a college youtuber and she's just really interesting like she does you know college days in my lives college weeks in my lives I really like that type of stuff I watch a lot of that stuff so I watch her a lot I watch Chris Huey a lot she's also a smaller creator but she has like around 100k and stuff like that so she's kind of more well known if you know who I'm talking about um she I've I used to always watch her like I've watched her for a while now but she's someone now that I like kind of get anxious about when she doesn't post and I'm just like can you post I want a new video and she just posted a college week in my life and I'm excited so yeah and then I've been really into Brooklyn and Bailey lately and that's really weird like I'm not a 12 year old girl that's who I, no, no offense but that's who I feel like is their demographic but since they've been in college they've been posting like a lot of college related videos so that I don't know I just think they're cool I have been loving American Horror Story Apocalypse this month oh my freaking god dude like I binge watched it this month. I binge watched all the episodes that I missed. It's so good and whoever is saying it's not good can like leave the door, like go out that door right there. I've been so into Twitter in October and it's kind of scaring me because like, like yeah, I like Twitter and it makes me laugh sometimes but then sometimes I come across things and like it makes me mad sometimes and I'm just like, do I still want to be on Twitter? And you know, so I have a love-hate relationship with Twitter but I have been loving it a lot so. I've been so into cauliflower this month, like so into cauliflower and vegetables in general, like because Trader freaking Joe's. I have been into cauliflower gnocchi so freaking much. It's so good. It's so great. You guys saw it in a what's what I eat in a day. It's so freaking good. I love mashed cauliflower so much. I eat that so much. It's so freaking good. I also love um like spiraled zucchini. I don't even like zucchini, but I liked it when it was spiraled. Like I'm kind of, I'm kind of a child, but it's so good. I've been eating a lot of vegetables that are not vegetable. Like I've been eating vegetables that are made into things and it's really interesting, but I'm getting my vegetables in. So it's like great, but I've been really into cauliflower. Another thing that I've been loving this month is my new laptop. Now my laptop, if you guys don't freaking know, um, I had to buy a new laptop this month because my old one was being stupid and I didn't even have that one for a year. But this is my new laptop. My new laptop is right here actually. It's it's pretty cute. She she a pretty cute one. She's like right here. She thick. She she pretty cute. P laptop. Um she the you know layout's exactly the same because both of my computers were Windows 10 software. So it's exactly the same and everything's saved and all that. But it's just so much louder and so much faster in my opinion, and it's pretty I don't know, in my opinion, it's cuter, so. Another product that I've been loving this month is this Kopari deodorant. So I got this sent free through Influencer because, you know, I'm an influencer. No, I'm totally kidding. They just chose me for this. And it's this, like, coconut oil-based deodorant, and I've been using it a lot. It does smell really good. I don't know how it is good protecting, you know, my sweat because I sweat a lot. But... It's been pretty good for the most part. And the reason why I keep using it is because this has no aluminum in them. And if you guys know, aluminum does in deodorant does trace back to having breast cancer to certain people. So, you know, protecting myself at all costs because I am prone to cancer since it does run in my family. So we're not doing that. We're not using this. And it just feels good on my pits. So this month, I've been really into freaking vegan cookies. More specifically, this brand. This this alternative baking company, Colossal Chocolate Chip. They're really freaking good, they're really great. I bought five yesterday at my bookstore. Do I regret it? No. Last favorite of this month has just been me sitting at my desk like I am now. Um, honestly, I've been really into just working at my desk more than my bed, which I should not be even working in my bed and doing homework in my bed. Because I literally just found out like two weeks ago that that like causes your brain to think your bed's for work and you can't sleep. And maybe that's why I'm sleep deprived. But I've been really into working at my desk. It just And I love looking outside of my view. Like it's just so fun seeing everyone just walk around. Or like the, the other day some guys were barbecuing outside my door. And it was pretty interesting to watch. Hi. Hi Aaron. I didn't watch them or anything. It's just they, they came by. Aaron's my boyfriend by the way. So. I'm sitting at my old desk getting work done.
that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe. Also, comment down below any ideas you guys have for future videos. If you guys like these favorite types of videos, let me know down below in the comments so I can get ready for November. If you guys like that, just, just let me know. Just comment down below. And until next time, bye. <laughs>